Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends, welcome back to the Pisces portal. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces Collective, so it might resonate, it might not. Pisces, let's see what is going on with you. <laughs> wow. Okay, we have twin flames, soul partner, eternal connection. All right, spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces about their twin flame? Oh, honesty and communication. Okay, Pisces. So maybe you and your twin flame will soon have a heart to heart and honest conversation. Okay, one in which both of you perfectly mirror one another in regards to your feelings and your intentions for the other person. Let's see what else. Ooh, ease and grace. Wow. Okay, Pisces. So I think you and your twin are about to enter a new chapter where there is now a sense of ease in communication. Okay, there's a nice uh, flow between the masculine and feminine energies in your connection or in your relationship i feel like there's going to be more harmony more balance more stability you and your twin are really going to be fusing together as one wow <laughs> okay spirit uh what else <laughs> what else about this connection for Pisces. Manifestation. Okay, Pisces. So this could be something that you have been working on trying to manifest. Okay. Or as a result of this new stage where there's more openness and communication and a easier flow between you and your twin perhaps you and them will be able to manifest more in this connection okay and this loving authentic energy that will flow between the two of you will be good to hone into to manifest some new things okay whether it's in this connection or not okay <laughs> we have animals okay so you and this person could definitely be very passionate about animals okay um, maybe you are thinking of you know bringing an animal into your life okay but I also feel like you know one of you definitely feel um like there is a spirit animal that is in your life, okay? One that has confirmed different things for you within this connection, but also in other ways to Pisces, okay? Let's see what other messages spirit has about this connection. And also Pisces, <laughs> Some of you could feel like, you know, um, like an animal in your life, okay, is like a soulmate in a way. <laughs> okay. Wow, so we have freedom. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good, release me from its bonds. Okay, Pisces, so, wow. I think that perhaps you and your twin 
might have had some resentment built up towards one another for different reasons, okay, for different things. And now that you're both going to be communicating, okay, in a more honest way, more vulnerable way, it's allowing both of you to feel a bit at ease and a bit more free, okay? Um, because perhaps, you know, there was miscommunication and you both were at odds with one another, but now it appears as if the two of you are going to really be on the same page, okay? And I think that instead of this connection feeling as if it was holding you back, it's literally going to make you feel free as you move forward. Oh, let's see what that is. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. This could have been a really big concern or issue in this connection at some point where one of you or both of you were looking to the other to do something, okay, to prove your loyalty, your feelings to the other person, and it, it just wasn't happening, but now it looks like it's about to be happening more Pisces. Let's get some direction from spirit for you, especially with this animals card being here, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. So if you and someone are going to be having a conversation or um, you know, you plan on reaching out, be gentle, okay, as much as you can be with your words, um, you know, give this person the opportunity to also uh, express themselves, okay, just be open, ooh, then we have bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. Okay, so Pisces, you know, and it's interesting because I'm also getting like feminine and masculine energies from these cards here too. And a little bit of mirroring in a way. And it does feel like Pisces, as long as you um, you know, are gentle, but honest, you know, hear your twin out, of course, don't accept anything less than what you deserve, right? But there's a way to resolve problems without their, you know, again, being all of this fire, okay, that was like mentioned here, this fiery ring of resentment, okay, um, it's time to cut through that. It's time to release that so that the two of you can be more focused on loving one another instead of, again, being at odds with one another, okay? But, you know, a rebirth is assured here. And I think once you and your twin are, again, on the same page, okay, and really understanding one another and reflecting back mutual energy, it's going to cause this relationship to really be able to flourish and be on another level, to be reborn, okay? So let's close this out with an Angel Answers card, Pisces. So we have reconsider, okay, Pisces? I really think that reconsidering hmm, you know your approach to this person is what is happening okay and there may have been times where you've gone back and forth okay um, with 
wondering if you should try to reconnect with this person or be open to what it is they have to say. All right. Uh, let me just get one more. Okay, so we have, there's something better. Okay, Pisces. Um, so for some of you, you know, it could be a matter of maybe there being a better person for you, perhaps. Or, you know, I really also see this as this person coming back towards you um, with their best. Okay, maybe before they were not giving you their best. And that's what you were manifesting from them before. You were getting the version of them that, you know, was always um, reconsidering or going back on their word, okay? But I feel like now this person is, again, especially for there to be a rebirth, they will be giving you their best. So, Pisces, this has been your reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.